Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome to the channel and welcome to yet another conference. All honor, glory, and praise be to our one and only Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Look, I don't know who needs to hear this tonight, but I stopped by to tell you tonight that God is a way maker. God is a way maker. If you don't remember anything else from this conference, remember that God Almighty is a way maker. Let me tell you something. Me personally, and nobody has to believe what I believe, but I don't believe that anything in our lives happened by accident or by chance. I believe that our lives are already predestined. Everything is already planned out. The people that we were destined to meet, we, we will cross paths with at some point within our life, our life period, within our lives. And I believe that everything that happens, happens for a reason. I believe there are many key players in our lives that serve specific roles as to what the will, intent, and purpose of God is for our life's journey. You understand what I'm saying? And see, God will with the test make a way of escape. That's what a lot of people don't know out there because they're not aware. They don't have a knowledge of the Holy Scriptures. But let me tell you something. I don't care what it is that the devil throws in your path. I don't care what type of monkey wrench that he throws in your path thinking he's going to halt you, halt your future, or stop your destiny or stop you from doing whatever the will of God is for your life or even your own personal goals and ambitions. Let me tell you something about the devil tonight. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Do you understand what I'm saying? And his tricks are out of the mentality of hell. Do you understand what I'm saying? Meaning hell is an evil place. Hell is a wicked place. Hell is not a place that is for you and neither is the devil and neither are his tricks. But let me tell you something. For every trick that the enemy has set in motion for you. Jesus Christ has already prepared. And I don't even want to use the term orchestrated. He's already made a way out. Because Jesus doesn't have to orchestrate anything. Once God speaks, it is done. God didn't have to orchestrate the sun. God said, let there be light. And there was light. God said, let us make man in our image. And that's exactly what God does. What he did. So one thing you must understand is that once God has purposed in his heart to do something, consider it done consider it done. I don't care what the circumstance may look like. I don't care what it may seem like. Once God has purposed in his heart that he wants to do something for you, it is done. And it does not matter if the enemy has knowledge of that before you have knowledge of that. And the enemy has gone to God to get permission to try to throw some type of monkey wrench in your path because the enemy thinks that's his way of stopping the plan of God or, or at least attempting to stop the plan of God for your life. Because let me tell you something out here tonight. If God has, I'm hearing if God be for you, no one can stand against you. But if God has something for you, he's going to give it to you if you will be receptive. Can I talk this thing out? Can I talk it out? Because, you know, let me tell you something about these dirty people that the enemy will utilize as weapons formed against you to try to serve as monkey wrenches in your life. You know, the enemy will, a lot of times, especially if you all are young in life, he'll know what your goals, hopes, and ambitions are. And his whole game plan is to uproot and um, disturb and shake the foundation of whatever you're trying to build your future upon. See, that's why your foundation must be Jesus Christ, so that when the earthquakes from hell come, you shall not be moved. Why? Because you're standing on a sure foundation. Can I talk out here tonight? Can I talk this thing out out here tonight? Can I talk it out tonight? There's nothing that the enemy has tried to do to you in your life that will ever work, that will ever prosper, because the devil is a liar. The devil knows what your hopes are, the devil knows what your dreams are. He knows what your goals and your ambitions are. And that's the reason why he feels like he's ahead of the game and trying to stop you. It could have been some young lady out there. You wanted to go to college, but he sent some bomb in your face pretending that he liked you. And now you're sitting there stuck with, um, I don't want to say stuck, but you're sitting there raising a child by yourself. It could be some young man. You wanted to go into the NFL, but guess what? He sent some slut in your path and now she deliberately got pregnant because she felt like well she's going to come up on what you had planned um what your goals were in your life and now you feel like well you know you chose the wrong female and now you've got to raise a child and you want to go into the nfl not just necessarily that but anything that you wanted to do because you must understand something that satan is nothing but a monkey wrench no way he's nothing but a monkey wrench with a bunch of other monkey wrenches out here that he thinks 
he's going to throw in somebody's path to try to haunt and hinder somebody's way. But let me tell you something. God is a God that will show the devil what he can do. God is a God that will show the devil, I, no matter what you try to do to her, I'm going to make a way another way. No matter what you try to do to him, I'm going to make a way in another way. Let me tell you something. Satan thought that he had disrupted God's plans uh, as it pertains to what God had purposed for Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. But let me tell you something. Didn't God kill an animal and make coats of skin for Adam and Eve to cover their sins? Didn't God look out for them? Didn't God still love them? It doesn't mean that God didn't punish them for that transgression, but it means that when God Almighty has got your back, he's got your back. There's absolutely nothing to worry about. The whole world could be standing against you. But if you're standing with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, what should you worry about? What should you worry about, young lady? What should you worry about, young man? What should you worry about, more mature lady? What should you worry about, more mature man? God Almighty is King of the entire universe. It is what God says that goes. Not, your, not that demon, not that devil, not your enemies, not your foes, but it is what God says that goes. God is king of the universe. It is what he says. It is what he has purpose for your life, not the devil. The devil will always stand in opposition of what God wants to do for you in your life. He will always try to throw monkey wrenches in your path to try to um, halt your destiny and stop your destiny. But God has a way, can I talk about it, of creating roads where there weren't roads, creating paths where there were not paths created opportunities where there were not opportunities. God has a way of stepping up to the plate. God has a way of being a father to the fatherless, a mother to the motherless, a husband to somebody that doesn't have a husband. God has a way of taking care of you when other people have given up their responsibility of what they were supposed to do. Because a lot of you out there, you married the wrong people. You married a man that you thought would be there for you and your children, and now you are a single mother. You married a woman that you thought would be there for you and your children, now you are a single father, perhaps. I'm just throwing that out there. Or maybe there were those of you, you know, you accepted somebody's proposal and got married, and, and uh, the person didn't live up to um, what your expectations were, or you gave a proposal to somebody and you got married and the person didn't live up to your expectation. Or it doesn't even have to pertain to marriage. It could be a relationship. You, maybe you got in a relationship with somebody and they didn't live up to their part. And now you're there with all the responsibility of the mortgage, the car payments, the baby, the house, the, the, I mean, just everything. You got to work two or three jobs just to try to make ends meet while this person has gone off and did what they wanted to do. And then for a lot of you, you later found out that it was all just a game to them in the first place, that they wanted you in the situation that you were in. They wanted you in the predicament that you were in because they were jealous of you. Because see, a lot of times a devil will see your potential even when you don't. You isn't, and, or a lot of times it could be, it's not that you don't see your potential, but sometimes maybe the devil can see a little further. Maybe sometimes that devil will see a little further. Maybe that's why that devil asked you out on a date. Think about it. Maybe that's why that devil accepted to go out with you on a date, my brother. Because the devil always wants to ride off the coattail of other people because the devil doesn't have what it takes within his or herself to do and establish anything for his or herself. They always want to kill a dreamer. Look at the story in the Bible about Joseph and his brothers and how Joseph was a dreamer. But let me tell you something, dream and dream on. Because if God is backing your dreams, God is a God that can bring it into a reality. And the devil knows this. And that's why he'll send a monkey wrench. Look at the monkey wrench he sent in Joseph's path. Look at every, all the opposition that was formed against Joseph, but it did not prosper. Can I talk out here tonight? See, that's what God means when he says that no weapon formed shall prosper. God will make a way out of no way. God will make your enemies your footstool. God will take the very folk that's behind your back talking about you like a dog. And he will use them to elevate you and help you carry over. Help you. He will use them as a, even though Jesus is your bridge over troubled water, God know how to lay down some tracks and that you walk over your enemies so that you don't fall into the pit. God know how to cover a hole that you about to fall in and use your enemies, figuratively speaking, for you to step on so that, so that you can keep on stepping. You understand what I'm saying? Because there are a lot of you out there you know, you may have been in a broken relationship and maybe you thought that the man or the guy would be there and he wasn't there. And, and you guys out there just flipped the script. Maybe, you know, you had a baby and 
you thought the woman was going to be a good wife, a good mother, and she turned out to be a horrific nightmare. But let me tell you something. God.